Remember, great cinema is all about great light. Okay, now we're going to have an explosion in this scene, and we are not going to see it until we're in post. This light, this light from the explosion, it's got our main light. We need to carry its warmth all the way through the scene, okay? All right. Get me a reflector down here. I need to bounce more light off of this surface. Turn the light off on the car. No, turn it back on. You really miss it when it's not on. And spot me to 5K. Up, a little more. Whoa, perfect. You know, I think we're ready to go. Perfect light for a perfect cinematic experience. Okay guys, listen up. This is a key scene, so I want to use the whole frame. This is for cinema. And if people can't go and see it in the cinema, well, that's their problem. Unless they get a cinema at home, they'll have to deal with the black bars. Can I get a little more? Okay, hold that for five hours. You know it's all about the narrative, the way the camera passes through the scene. Cop, clown, cop, all lined up in one frame, the full story. 21.9 works with your peripheral vision, so we get to fill up the whole frame. Okay guys, let's get this done. Everybody back to one. The whole post-production process has to be planned before a frame of film is shot. You've got one chance. And there's no point wishing you'd done anything different later on. When you're shooting for a high-definition experience, you see everything. So let's just get rid of these. With razor-sharp images like these, everything shows up. Now let's get rid of this dust spot. At this level of detail, we see every bump. This makes the motion as smooth as possible. Last thing we've got to check are the color levels. Let's crush the blacks a little to get them nice and dark and just lift the greens a bit. There. Ready for the big screen.